so hello students uh, welcome to this logic gate series and this is the second video let us start and i hope you have gone through the first video that is the or gate and i'll give the link here so let us start and uh, don't forget to subscribe welcome to the second uh, video of the logic gate series so i have already discussed about the or gate and uh, in this video i'll be discussing about your and gate So AND gate means uh, the circuit. So I'll write the circuit which implements implements the AND logic. So before we know which is the circuit that implements AND logic, we need to know what do you mean by the AND logic first. Okay. So AND logic in layman knowledge, this means suppose uh, you want to say that uh, this is possible if this and that are done. Suppose in layman knowledge, so suppose I draw a circuit here like this and the inputs are uh, taken from this side and the output are uh, taken this side and two switches are here S1 and S2. So in the previous lecture I have discussed so S1 is equals to 0 represent is 0 if the switch is open. So it will not pass any signal. You can see the previous video I will give the link. Uh, then S1 equals to your 1 if it is closed I will say pass the signal. Okay, now if I draw a table, so S1, S2 I write and I put output here. So if I draw, draw a table, then what will happen? We'll see. First, let us write all the possible combinations for S1 and S2. So first possible combination is 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now what will be the output? So see, if your uh, input is 0, 0, means your S1 is open and S2 is open. So no signal will pass. Okay, so all the signals will be blocked. So the output will be zero, right? So here I'll write output is zero, or there will be no output. Next is suppose the condition is zero one, then it is open and uh, this switch is open and this switch is closed. Now if it is open, no signal will cross through here. So signals is blocked from here. So the output will be 0, simply the output will be 0 or there will be no output. Similarly, if the so switch 1 is closed, and see switch 1 is closed and your switch 2 is open, then signal will pass here, but signal will not pass through the switch 2. So there will be no signal, so there will be no output, but the last case, so here 0. So the last case where both the switches are closed, so if the condition is like this, then signal can reach the output and there will be some output. So uh, I can say output you got when your both S1 and S2 are closed. Okay, so this is the AND logic. This is the AND logic we want to implement in the digital elements. So digital elements is which symbol we implement this. So which uh, logic gate is implementing. So this logic gate is called the AND gate. So AND gate basically a logic gate that implements the AND logic. And how does that look like? Suppose I have two inputs A and B and I have one output y so y will be written as y b so in other terms we write this y equals to a and b okay. so this is also written or it is simply written a b okay now this is the symbol this is what this is the symbol of and gate now what is the switching logic now this is the switching logic Uh, this one is the switching logic. Next is the truth table. 
So two table means two table will be uh, inspired from this particular table. So we have two inputs A and B, and we have one output as Y. So what the combination is? zero 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 one one zero and one and these are the possible combinations and output is A dot B or A and B. So according to the logic, the input is the output is zero everywhere except where both A and B are one. So this is the truth required truth table. Now you see you need to uh, means observe that uh, this is the operation of a multiplication also zero into zero or zero into one one into zero one into one so this is similar to multiplication also so we can say that your AND gate implements the digital multiplication also it can be okay and uh, your OR gate is res responsible for your addition so you will have some notes to remember so we can say its key points when one input when one input of two input NAND gate what do you mean two input NAND gate here you see there are two inputs so we can have a AND gate I can have an AND gate where it will be A and it will go up to N. So there can be N number of input to AND gate, only one output. So this is also possible. That's why it is called as two input AND, and gate. So the statement is written for a AND sorry. This is a so the statement is written for a two input AND gate. What is the statement? When one input of the two input AND gate is one, is one, output is same as another input. Okay, so what it is saying? So I have a AND gate here, and there are two inputs. It is a two input AND gate. One input is A and uh, when one input the input and two input and is one so this one is constant now what will be the output you basically your it's the statement says that the output is same as the another input so here what is the another input another input is a so let us see how this is happening uh, from the truth table you can see so it is saying that your b equals to one okay so one our input is fixed so if b is 1 you see there are two possibilities this one and this one and in this case your y equals to 0 0 is equals to in this case y equals to a see if i write y equals to a i can say if the output is correct here also you can see the out a y equals to a because here a is 1 and the output is 1 okay, understood so that means y equals to a means that So here the statement uh, says like this if one of the input is one then the output is same as the other input next is when one of the two input and get is zero then the output then the output is 0 so it says if I have an AND gate like this so whatever the input here suppose A and the second input is grounded like it is 0 then Y is equals to 0 so if one input is 0 then by default uh, the output will be 0 because we have seen in all the cases wherever a 0 is present the output is 0 and uh, I have also told that it implements the multiplication so 0 into anything will give you 0 and uh, one more thing uh, we, we have to see both AND gate and or get follow commutative law and 
so this is it uh, this that's all about your and gate and uh, in next video i'll be discussing the not gate and xor gate and other gates also so have a good day and subscribe like and share so subscribe and press the bell button so that i will send you you can get the subscribe like and share and press the bell button bell. so subscribe like and share and press the bell button so that you will get updates on this video series uh, i'll be covering the whole syllabus of digital electronics so stay tuned and thank you